This is Watch Your Style. Today I'm gonna do a video on a particular brand that I thought honestly that I would never even cover. Um, just because for a long time there I honestly thought that they just really weren't up to par with other brands. But in the last three years, the fact of the matter is that they really have stepped it up. And that brand is Jacob & Co. All right, so when it comes to Jacob watches, you know, one of the one of the first things that used to come to my mind was the five time zone watch. You know, that watch was introduced in 2002 and it was that very popular watch in the hip hop scene that had the four fixed time zones and then uh, obviously an adjustable time zone in the center. And it was just kind of like ugly. I mean, Let's be honest here, I mean, there was a time back then where I guess uh, some of the styles of watches got a little stagnant and this kind of came in in the hip hop culture. Um, I never really liked it, uh, not in 2002 either. Uh, I was more of a Rolex or AP or Patek fan even then. Um, and I still liked even more uh, other creative brands, you know. But um, it, nevertheless, they sold a ton of those things. You know, the crazy part about that five time zone watch is that if you ever open the back of one of those, you would get a really big surprise. I mean, it looked like, I mean, I feel like a Swatch had a better, you know, movement than that watch. But regardless, they did sell a ton of them. And at that time, it was more of a fashion thing than anything. But what happens is that over the years, Jacob, you know, Jacob and Co. watches started to kind of progress. Uh, they did do a lot in jewelry, but uh, my focus is on their watches. And it wasn't until the Quentin came out in 2006 that it was when they kind of, you know, even then I was kind of like, what, you know? It was kind of like Jacob, you know? Uh, the Quentin came out in 2006 and it was the first ever watch with a 31 day power reserve. You know, that kind of started to get attention. You know, not that I wanted to run and buy one, but I kind of said, all right, you know, that's something a little bit different. And for example, this that I have here is a, a Jacob Tour P. You know, this is also a little watch where I kind of felt like they were really starting to step it up. Whether you like these designs that I just mentioned or not, you can't deny that they stepped it up from the five time zone models and they started to go into a bit more serious watches. You know, that's when I kind of said, you know, I, I was just kind of like surprised. I was like, wow, I mean, they're really stepping it up. Uh, again, guys, don't, you know, let's not, let's not get out of proportion here. No one's comparing Jacob to any of the major watch making historical brands. Uh, I just want to talk about, I just feel that it's about time that I should talk about Jacob because how about that Astronomia? I mean, Jesus Christ, uh, I don't know if I want to buy one and hand it down as a family heirloom, but Jesus Christ, you know, in 2014 in the Basel world when the Astronomia came out, that's when I really said, wow, you know, Jacob and Co really has stepped it up you know that that really caught me off guard you know i i just you know for years jacob and co what i thought was that ugly five time zone watch which is the one that kind of put them in the map and probably funded all these projects but when the astronomia came out i mean that's kind of the watch that i think of now when i hear the word jacob and that's the watch that i feel that really changed my whole view on them. And I don't know how you feel, um, whether you like the name brand or not, you can't deny that they're really pushing the design to the limits with that watch. I mean, have you really looked at one closely? There's so much going on there. It's like unbelievable, you know? Uh, one of my favorite ones is the new uh, Astronomia, Astronomia Solar that came out. That one is straight up stunning. You know, Jacob's always been a brand that has a lot of diamonds, you know? 
Um, so I feel that they're like the perfect blend between those like out of hand graph brand watches, you know, that are all diamonds and the Chopards. So I feel like they're the right blend of out of control crazy gemstones and diamonds and horology. Um, maybe not back in the day when they had that first watch in 2002, but you fast forward now to some of these uh, Astronobia Turbions that have um, gems everywhere and it's, it's out of control. I mean, it's pretty, it's, pretty, it's pretty impressive what they've come out with. And uh, I personally have not been able to have the pleasure of being able to hold one personally in my hand yet. But uh, I'm sure that in person, they're just as stunning as they are in photographs. So a couple of the other watches that they have come out with has been the, the Epic line. You know, they look a little bit more commercial and uh, you know, wow, they, they, like I said, they've made great leaps away from their original design. Do I recommend buying an Epic over a nice AP? No, it's not what I'm saying, okay? I'm just trying to say, can anybody agree here that Jacob & Co has definitely stepped it up from that iconic, horrific watch that we all remember? I mean, I did it on my last video, on one of these uh, videos that I did of the most expensive watches in the world for 2017, the Jacob & Co billionaire watch. That one by far is probably the, of all those ones with all the crazy diamonds and you know, all that, it's probably the baddest one. I mean, that's a serious piece right there. Not sure if I'd want to wear one without a whole armed guard around me, like a whole platoon of uh, Marines or something. But um, that's a serious piece right there. And there's no denying in 2017 and on that Jacob and Co can probably only step it up more and more. And it's gonna be interesting to see where the brand goes. You know, they're a fairly new brand. You know, they've been around doing jewels for a while, but they really only started making watches in 2002. So they are a brand new brand. Um, but we're gonna have to see what happens with them. And as far as the watch game goes, I mean, look, I'm not really too impressed by any of the other watches, but if someone pulls up with an Astronomia, Turbion, Jacob & Co, or a billionaire, the Jacob & Co billionaire watch, I mean, there's nothing more to talk about. Uh, obviously, they're pulling heavy, heavy duty moves in the watch game because you can't even get those watches. They're so limited, can't even see them. And a guy's not gonna buy that watch as his grail piece. Usually a guy that's gonna buy a watch like that is gonna have already a bunch of watches and just wanted something that was over the top. So feel free to comment on this video how you feel if Jacob & Co is finally actually stepping it up or what, you know? Tell me how you feel. And if you like this video, please like and share. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel. My name is Eric, watch your style.